Yep, slight change of plans this morning. Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, by the way. I got up at 3 o'clock this morning, 3 a.m. Did some stuff, cut my fish, the goggle eye from yesterday. And I cut my grass and did some shopping. It's just after 8 a.m. out here this morning on this ditch. Actually, the last time I was here, I think I left something down here. Hopefully it's still hidden. It would be in the clover. Let me look. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's not. I don't know. Oh, 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 it is. Yes, sir. I love it when it works out that way. Crappie craw on the drop shot. It was, oh, oh, got that in my finger. It was working good yesterday. Will it work here? So I was going to like have taco Tuesday right off the bat, but it's Monday. It's Monday for me, Tuesday for you guys. So yeah, we were going to cook and then come fishing. We're going to have lunch, right? However, changed the plans because, oh, there was a guard just came up. After lunch, very, very windy is what it's supposed to be. That wind is going to come up around 10 this morning and it's going to be horrendous it's going to come up to 15 or worse so fish now then go make lunch i'm gonna have a goggle eye taco bowl i'm just like hungry for tex-mex type stuff but nothing too heavy it's actually a good bit past 8 a.m coming up on nine it's like 15 till nine right now I would say that it's a pretty safe bet that I've missed most of the morning bite. I wasn't actually planning on getting out here this morning. I was going to come out later, like I said. I had a lot to do this morning. I really needed to cut the grass. So maybe we need to put crappie nibbles on. Oh, we had like two turtles come up at once. I think I can probably catch fish for sure i'm not too worried about it however that oh there's a fish right there oh he came off the crazy stuff is done done for the morning at least but i'm sure what just happened there is going to repeat itself eventually maybe i don't need crappie bites on here because this is this crappie crawl which i got at bnb &B tackle here in bell chase it's working pretty good gotcha nice look at that awesome catch and release mostly So they're going to be firing these jets off for a little bit while I'm here. And we're going to hear dogs barking occasionally. It was far worse when I first rode up. They just would not give up on it. Switching to this little swim bait. I got this especially for drop shotting who's this by crappie psychic let's check them out i don't think i've pulled one out and really looked at it if i can get this open here we go looks like i'll get some good action from that paddle tail that is looking nice avocado and chartreuse this water's a little dirty, but not too bad. But that color just works really good down here. It is definitely true that other colors work as well. Avocado chartreuse just is tried and true. We're just going to almost nose hook this. But coming in just a little deeper than that. That'll work right there. That'll work great. 
sometimes crappie or sockele if you like are going to hit a bigger bait something like this big swim bait it's not really the reason I have it on right now. I see bass moving around. And I think it will probably be more appropriate. And it's not that much bigger, but it is definitely bigger than the crappie craw, which was getting torn up. One of its uh, chartreuse claws was missing anyway. Wow, I got that back there a good ways. You know, I really didn't think I, I was going to get anything with it. I chose it because I thought it would be more appropriate to get a bass out of here. Well, what did we get? Oh, we got a bass. I thought they were somewhere around here. Yeah, it's a dink. Yeah, you're right. You can go back down in there. Well, there you go. I got a couple of fish here. Yeah, you're right. That wind is starting to come up fast. It is 10 a.m. And instead of another bit of water, let's get to the house and make some lunch because I'm ready for that. Yeah, you're right. I've already preheated my pan. Now we're going to take some extra virgin olive oil. I don't want a lot, just a little bit. We got a medium heat there. Maybe that's probably all I need right there to get going just a little bit and it's not going to take too long for it to heat up so right here in this bowl is a mixture of jalapeno bell pepper green onion and garlic did not take it long at all for that oil to heat up go ahead and use this wooden spatula to get out everything it's almost like half a jalapeno if you're curious but you, you can do it to your taste I'm only making just enough for lunch so yeah not a lot Go ahead and get the lid back on there. Maybe drop my heat down just a little bit. I'm gonna let that kind of just do its thing for a second. Here's the fish already cut up. I didn't keep that many goggle eye. Maybe five or so. This is not going to take long to cook. I, I don't like overcooking or, you know, I'm not trying to cook anything down. We don't want everything, like all the vegetables to go soft. We want the fish to go white, but we are going to add a few more things at this point. While that fish is going white, we got black beans right here. Whoa, that's the teaspoon. We need the big spoon. Yeah, maybe just a little more. That's probably good right there. Oh, I'm forgetting one thing. I meant to add this before the beans, but it's all good. This is vajita seasoning. Not too much, because I already got heat in here. This just puts a little more heat, but flavor as well. This has a lot of good stuff in it, including cilantro. It's got chilies in it too. There we go. Wow, it smells good.
white tortilla chips. It's this brand. They're on sale, two for three dollars. It's all about how you arrange it, I think, when you're gonna make a taco bowl with tortilla chips. And as far as cheap tortilla chips go, these are not bad at all. Pretty decent for the price, I think. But you'll get fooled. You'll open the bag and you'll eat a couple and you think, oh, these aren't too salty because sometimes the cheaper they are, the saltier they are. Get down into that bag. They, they, they got some salt on them. All right, that's looking okay. And this is looking okay too. I brought that heat back up just a bit. I'm giving this a chance to evaporate some of that liquid. It was just a little bit. I don't want it soupy at all. However, I do not want to burn it. So doing this actually helps some of that liquid burn off help it evaporate stirring it occasionally we're getting really close it does not take long to do something like this there are different ways of making fish tacos of course I'm making a taco bowl it's kind of what I'm in the mood for honestly I've for a few days now I've been in the mood for Tex-Mex I mean I am from Texas so sometimes I crave it we are there No cheese for this. You could add cheese though. I'm just, I'm not. It's not always about beans and melted cheese. For some people that's Mexican food, but it's not always that. Quite the lunch. We're gonna have a big lunch. Almost like dinner, cause yeah, I am tired. All right, not done yet, not done yet, not at all. Okay, there we go. And here we go. It's like two avocados kind of mashed up. It's not straight up guacamole, but it's looking like guacamole. Guacamole, actual guacamole, has <laughs> stuff in it. This is just avocado. Plain guacamole, perhaps, if you will. And there we go. Yeah, it's a big lunch. It's that kind of lunch. Okay, a mountain of avocado, but we're not done, not yet. Years pass, it would always be paste picante. This isn't really bad, it's good. It's just much cheaper. Paste picante is a lot better, I think, in my opinion, and there are other brands that are good, but this is a fair priced one at the moment. We're not done yet. We're almost done. All right, we are done. And it's about time too. I am absolutely starving. Yeah, you're right. Let's treat this like nachos. Try to get a little bit of everything on there. Yeah, this is good for me. Mm. Mm. I may not stop. Mm. 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 I want more. I want more. You know what, out of respect, I'm gonna have to take this in there and sit down and eat it. So that means, yeah, before I do say all that, let me tell you, my life always feels much better when I'm eating Tex-Mex or after the anticipation. You know what really sucks is when you're anticipating some badass Tex-Mex or Mexican food and for whatever reason, it never happens. 
and that that's true about anything when you're ready to get something do something or you're expecting something and it just never shows up well it showed up today i made it happen yeah you're right goggle eye taco bowl or goggle goggle eye cheeseless nachos whatever you want to call it i'm happy yeah you're right thanks for watching liking sharing commenting subscribing being a member of the channel and i will see you next time